Hey there everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. Today I'm going to be using Art Impressions products and I have a new Funny Friday series to share with you. I'm going to be using one of their interchangeable stamp and die sets. And if you've never used one of these before, they're really fun because you can customize this stamp and die set to be able to create whatever scene you want. There are all sorts of fun images that come with the main stamp. And those little accessory pieces you can pick and choose to find the best assortment that you want for the card you want to create. So I'm going to be showing you how I made this card today using the Fishing Boat Ride Stamp and Die Set. So this is the set. I, it comes with the coordinating dies. So you have the stamp set which features all of these fun images. And then the dies are really unique because there's actually a slit that's cut along the edge of the boat that you can use to tuck the stamped elements into which I think is really fun and a great interactive series. So let's work on stamping out these images first. That's because I want to be able to color these in with some Copic markers. So I'm picking out my intense black ink from Simon's Stamp and I'm going to stamp these images that I've chosen from the stamp set onto some Hammer Mill white cardstock. Now you don't have to use all of the images. I've picked out my favorites here and these are the ones that I'm going to use to create my card. Now I spent a lot of my life living along the coast and fishing boats oftentimes have buoys hanging off of their boats. They use them for marking their traps for lobsters and other types of shellfish. So I wanted to be able to enhance my buoys that are hanging off of the boat here by adding some stripes. Because what's neat actually about those buoys is that each one is the color scheme for that particular fisherman. So each fisherman has his own color scheme. So that way fishermen who are out on the water can identify whose traps are whose based off of the color scheme that the buoy is decorated in. So I think that's really cool. So anyway, I wanted to make sure that I added some decoration to these buoys because that is how I am familiar with seeing them. So I have some striped buoys here that I think are going to be really fun. Now I did not use one single color scheme for my buoys. I wanted to brighten the card up a little bit more and added a few different colors but if you wanted to make this more like a true fishing vessel you could definitely color all the buoys the same. So I'm picking out some bright colors from my Copic marker collection. I have the packaging for the stamp set off to the side. It's just giving me a guide for where everything is and maybe what types of colors I'd want to use but I didn't follow the packaging very closely. I just used it as a guide as I was coloring. I was looking for some bright colors here. I particularly wanted to color the boat red. I thought that would be striking against the blue sky and water that I'll be adding to this card. So the red color is a great contrast. All of the little accessory pieces, I use the same colors throughout those elements as I did for the boat. So same blues, greens, reds, oranges, just so that way everything's very cohesive. It ties well together. I did use some neutral colors throughout this project for especially the fisherman. I colored his beard gray and then I also colored parts of the boat and also the anchor gray as well. I did pick up dark blue for his overalls but I did pick out some bright orange gloves. I thought that would be fun and tie in that orange color that I've used throughout the project too. Some neutral colors for his hat and his boots. Again you really don't see his boots because I'm actually going to tuck him inside the boat because he's driving. Now I'm going to use the coordinating dies to cut my images out and I'm going to hold them down with some very very low tech tape from Simon's Stamp just to make sure that my dies don't shift. And after I've lined up all my dies then I can run this through my die cut machine and that'll give me these really great pieces that I can work on assembling a scene with. Now like I said this little slit is created when you die cut the boat so you could tuck the fisherman inside the boat towards the back. You could have some of the accessories tucked in there which is what I'm going to do. I love that you can interchange how these elements are working in the scene. You could have the fisherman hold the fishing rod if you wanted to. All right, so now I'm going to add a little touch of fun to my anchor. I want it to be hanging down from my boat, so I did bring in some twine from May Arts so that I could tie it through the hole that is created when you die cut this little anchor. And that way it gives it a little bit more of a realistic look. I like how this turned out, and that's going to let me hang this then from the boat itself. So I need to start working on the scene that this boat is going to be sitting in and I pulled out this brand new embossing folder from Simon Says Stamp. This is the new Swirled Ridges embossing folder. I thought this would make an awesome sky. This embossing folder reminds me of the Vincent Van Gogh Starry Night painting. I think this would look so cool as a starry sky. So I'm going to ink blend over top of this. I'm not going for a night sky here. I'm going for maybe sunrise. 
I'm going to color the edges of the paper blue and then I'm going to bring in some yellow for the center. Now I will cut this panel down and I did end up then adding a little bit more of that blue around the edges here after I cut it down just to make sure that I maintained a little bit of contrast around the edges. But then that yellow in the center is kind of mimicking the sun coming up. So my background looks great, but then I also want to ground my boat in the water because what good is a boat if it's not actually floating? So I'm going to take this stitched wave border die from Lawn Fawn. Any wave border would work for this, but I really like these. I'm going to die cut it from some white cardstock inside my scout machine, and then I can work on ink blending this to create a nice blue color. Now you could have cut that way from some dark blue cardstock or light blue, but I wanted to add some gradient color to this wave. So I'm going to use inks to color it in, starting off with the light blue of marine, which is the same color I used for the sky. And then I also brought in royal, which is the darkest shade of that trio that marine is part of. And so this is going to give me some nice contrast, making this look like a deep ocean color. Now with some foam tape, I'm going to put a small strip of this down along the bottom of my card. And this way I can then pop my ocean up off of the card base. This is also going to give me then some relief from the boat that I'll add behind it. And I'm just going to line this up. It is a little bit larger than my card panel, which is three and three quarters by five, but I'll just trim off any excess that's hanging off the edges. Then with some thin foam squares from Simon's Stamp, this is actually a new pack of foam squares that Simon's Stamp offers, which I love. And so I'm going to use these to pop that boat up behind that ocean wave. And like I said, I did tuck the fisherman inside the window of my boat. So he's kind of looks like he's driving and waving. Then I'll start assembling my little accessory pieces from the stamp set. So I've got my fishing rod that I'm tucking underneath that edge of the boat, that little slit that was created when we die cut. Same with the net and also the bucket of fish. Looks like he had a good catch that day. But what's fun about this stamp set, like I said earlier, is that you can mix and match these elements. You can make any assortment of elements in this boat. And I think that's what's really fun about these interchangeable sets. They're very interactive in that way so that you can make all sorts of cards that look completely different, which I think is great. So here I'm going to take my little anchor and now I'm making a small knot at about the length of which I want this to be hanging from the boat. That way it looks like it's kind of like being cast off the boat. So you can set his anchor and rest for a while. I will glue that little knot that I created at the end of that string onto my boat. That way it will secure everything in place. Now I will say when I was putting this card together, I did end up changing my mind a little bit. And we're going to be adding some details to this card after the fact. But before we get to that, let me talk about the sentiment. This is one of the sentiments from the stamp set. It says, fishing you a happy birthday. And I'm stamping this with embossing ink onto some rainbow splash lake cardstock. I'll sprinkle on some white embossing powder and then heat set that with my heat tool. My sentiment will get popped up after fussy cutting it out along the top of the boat area. So this is where I decided to change gears. I was looking at this card and thinking to myself, oh, I wanna add some sparkle. Cause when you look at the ocean or the lake for that matter, any type of water when the sun hits it just sparkles. And I think in my card needed that. So after the fact, I'm bringing in this fading dot stencil from Simon's Stamp and some fallen snow glitter paste from Brutus Monroe to apply that to the water. Now I would personally do that before you assemble the water onto your card, but it did work out for me to add it after the fact, but it would be a lot simpler if you did it first. So once that dried, then I started working on adding some clouds to add some texture to the background of my scene. So with this night sky die set from Simon Says Stamp, I'm going to die cut these two clouds and I will cut one of them twice. So that way I can put these behind the boat and also add a little bit of color to them at the bottom to look as if the sunrise is glistening along the bottoms of the clouds. And then I'm just gonna trim them down and glue them onto my project here just to add some interest to that sky. And I like how that layers over top of these swirled ridges. I even use some of the pieces that I trimmed off to be smaller clouds coming in from the edge. All right, so that's gonna do it for this card. It's a great interactive birthday card that features a lot of fun things, especially that sparkle. I'm glad I added it, it really needed it. And it's a great example of showing how you may have a plan for a card, but then you totally change your mind and that's okay. So don't be afraid to change your mind too halfway through a project. But I hope you enjoyed seeing this card idea using the art impressions 
fishing boat rides interchangeable stamp and die set it's a great set for making some really cute cards for people who like to go fishing or be out on the water so i hope you'll check it out like i said the stamps and dies come as a set so you can get everything all at once and if you enjoyed today's video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you don't already so that you don't miss any of our future videos i will be back soon friends thanks so much for tuning in today have a wonderful day I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.